Welcome to BCH Technologies. Today we're going to troubleshoot a, a PG245. The custom reported after uh, after install the uh, the cover, the black cover, the cartridge doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, this is the case that you try to resolve it over the phone or online, just somehow. Uh, you just kind of cannot figure out. But after they send it in, and uh, you take a look, and immediately uh, you know what's going on. So, can you tell what's wrong? Let me give you a clue. I knew something was wrong with their giveaway. Their giveaway. We eat ribs with this dude, but we didn't have a clue. Their giveaway. Their giveaway. Yeah, the cover is glued upside down. If I have a patient, you can use a, a utility knife to carefully cut off the top. Oh, don't forget to protect your printhead. So we got a, a piece of uh, tape, the non-sticky part towards the printhead, the sticky, sticky part towards you. and. Uh, then we get a second piece of tape, and this time the sticky part down towards the print head. And uh, it will glue it towards both sides. And uh, the third piece going to go over the top. And it'll be a little bit taller than the piece you had before. So, if you have, uh, if you have the super glue dripping down, the tape can protect it. Uh, we have to cut lots of cartridges every day, so we just use this to to cut it off by now. Uh, you can see it's not a clean cut, so there are lots of. Uh, leftover pieces need to be removed. And we took away a part of the wall. So when we glue it, we, uh, we need to put more glues on those parts to make it, make it airtight. We made sure that we remove enough pieces, so now we can put a new cover on it. And now we sand it. And now we give it a bath. So we made sure the cover can fit in, and of course, this time it will be in the correct direction. And then we play, uh, we put a layer of uh, super glue on it. And then for the side where we have a gap, um, we put more. Uh, we put a super uh, super glue gel. This is a, a different kind of super glue. It's it's thicker, and uh, it's, it's it's working really well to seal the gaps. After twelve hours, we put the the cartridge underwater and blow air in it, and we can see the cartridge is still leaking on the side. So we're going to add more super glue gel on where it leaks. Uh, 12 hours later, uh, let me show you another way of uh, testing the leaks. So this time we have the refill hole closed 
and then we're going to blow air into the air hole using the priming syringe that, that's coming with your kit. Uh, what you should see is uh, air bubbles coming from the bottom of the cartridge, not from the top. And of course, uh, you want to test this when the cartridge is empty. Now we have the cartridge airtight, so we can add inks. This one will take 22 mils of ink. Now we put the cartridge in and uh, do a head cleaning. So the black cartridge was made of, what we just made was okay. Uh, just the color cartridge we made uh, need, need a little bit of uh, unclogging. You can see there's one uh, missing pixel. So if the first cleaning, did, cleaning didn't do well, we're going to do another one immediately. And then we're going to wait two hours and then do two more. If uh, after that uh, it's still clogged, we're going to use extended method. Luckily for us, the second cleaning works. So I'm going to just uh, put the links to the extended cleaning in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Cheers.